Look at this, the weather's calmed down finally after, what's it, two weeks near, near, near enough? Oh, I think We've had two weeks of Eastleys. Eastleys don't norm to bother, tend to bother us on this side of the island, but it's been so strong that um, it's been chopping it up a lot. Well, finally, well, you'd have seen that in the last video if you watched the last video, how choppy or rough it was. Finally, it's a calm day. So we're going to go out and do some fishing. We're going to probably try for mackerel today. And hopefully there's something out there. Let's get going. Okay, we're on the boat and I actually hear fish. Not very big fish, but I think they're over there. They're usually over there. Might get a bit shallow here. It's funny, you got a little sand patch down under there. All this rock, and there's a sand patch down there. You can see the rocks on the right now where they line out in a line. And they go a bit further out than that as well. Because you don't see it at the moment. You just had a crab on the way out. Caught it on the lure. No, we didn't. We pulled our single pot over there, but we didn't show it. You know, I've got to keep some of my little secret locations secret. Especially ones that bring crowds like that out. Yeah, the other ones are over. Fine, these two, these Checking it, this one might have been sideways. That's the part. I've got to think about it then. Yeah. It's completely empty. Nothing at all. We got, oh, look at the claw on that. Yeah. Shame it's lost the other one. Yeah. What a beauty there. Okay. I wasn't going to put this pot back here, but <laughs> I don't know now. Size. Yep. Yeah, I wasn't going to bother laying it back here, but I'm thinking I might now. that one
might have landed on a head, but I'm not going to bother fucking around with it. We're out on the fishing mark, so we're going to give it a, a go and see if there's any mackerel down here. Where's my real sort of twipe? I can't get the line up. Okay. See how fast the water is. But look at that bobbin, it's only a small tide. And on a small tide, it's still very fast. We're a neat tide. Finally up to fish, took for like ever. Good sized mackerel. Break the drought. First fish of the morning, we've been fishing for about how long? An hour, half an hour? Yeah. That's the first fish. Pretty poor. <laughs> There's no stopping Troy. <laughs> Give me another mackerel, but no. Right, we are pulling some pots. We did these yesterday, but to be honest, the fishing has sucked so bad at the moment. We've got one mackerel. Uh, here it is. We're um, just going to pull a few pots and uh, pass yeah, the pass the time a bit. Looks like there might be something in that. Might be. Might be. Yep, I hope there was. It's another one of those. How many congas do we get this year? Holy moly. So many eels. Every day we're getting eels, but this is a fresh bait, you see. If you bait all your pots with fresh, you get a fillet of pots with eels every time. At the moment, we're anyway. A bivvy one. That's spidey. One eel, large-ish, but not large at all really. Kind of medium-ish, smallish for an eel. It's not that big really. They're big enough for the pots. So we just trailed because we were bored, sort of trailed in the bay a bit. And I hooked something. Feels like seaweed. It's getting heavier actually. I think it's building up seaweed on it. Pulsating a bit. Could be a fish. Definitely feels like we've got a lot heavier. Which means seaweed. It's on the surface though, isn't it? Yeah, Pollock, look. See the way it's Yeah. That's Pollock. They always do that. It could be Pollock here then. Sure, we'll pull it. 
Mm. There it comes. There's a pollock. There you go. Big lure for a pollock, eh? <laughs> this is the fish. This right. Is the fish. Get you the pliers. We're actually in the bay now, it's actually got lice on its head. Let's have a look at that. We we're catching a couple of mackerel here and also just picked up a nice pollock, Rebecca has anyway. It's got a lot of lice on its head, or big lice on its head. You see the way it eats into the fish? We'll get that removed. Right, I'm gonna carry on because my line is dead. That's the ground. That's one of the. Your attention. That's one of the ground mussels here. That mackerel. Look at it. I that, don't think I've ever caught one that No. Look at that's it. um. That's the big groundies you get in the bay. Oh, I'm sorry. Say. Look at that. I told look you. Look at the size of that mackerel. Hold it up. Hold it up. Oh, I don't. Oh, I can't. I'm yeah. missing fish. I can't. <laughs> That's what I was saying about the, the big ground mackerel you get sometimes in the bay, like when you fish the bay. Oh, I see a bibby pollock. Bibby. There's that any minute, see? More fish. More fish. There we go. Ooh. Taking line, this one. Yeah. Oh, it's come off. Damn it. That was a good sized pollock. Oh, you got two there. Just say no. Nice bit of weed. Can the pocket pot do the bit? Pulling out the bag after 24 hours. There's a Marion dinghy. Look. Now, is there anything in the pocket pot? He's been put into a slightly deeper water. He's never come this far on his own. <laughs> oh, oh, pocket pot. I don't think it matters. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. See, it's still yep. got a lobster. Might not be big enough, but it's got one. That's his first time out in slightly deeper water. There's the show, eh? Yeah, just push that down up the bottom. Don't fall off the mark, we'll leave it up. Really? Okay, shocking, mate. Pretty good, though. <laughs> Again, yep. for that little pot. Yep. Doing well, that little pot. Right. Well, calm weather today, but not a lot of fish. We had uh, we had a handful of lobsters and we had a handful of fish. And we'll show you the fish when we get home. Right now, uh, I just want to go home. <laughs> There you go, that's what we ended up with. Now, one pollock's already been given to somebody, but um, the pollock aren't the biggest, but they're still a decent size. They just look really small because of the size of these mackerel. Uh, 